The Silent Beacon personal safety device is a wearable panic button that allows you to instantly call anyone, including 911, while simultaneously sending alerts and your GPS location to your family and friends. Discreet and lightweight, the Silent Beacon can fit almost anywhere, protecting you throughout your daily activities or adventures wherever they may be. This is especially true of people who work alone, like real estate agents, who need to take added security measures when meeting with clients one-on-one -on -one in unfamiliar locations. It is also perfect for those times at dusk or dawn when you may want an added peace of mind. For the older population, it allows you to be completely mobile and continue to enjoy the same quality of life you have without the need for ridiculous monthly fees or medical alert systems that tie to your house line. Parents can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that if an emergency does arise, their child will be able to get in touch with them immediately. Bicycle and motorcycle riders are always targets of bad drivers, so having a system that allows you to be hands-free cuts down precious response time you would need to receive help. Even normal day fender benders can be managed a bit easier since just one press of the wearable panic button alerts your loved ones of your location and situation, while those who don't want to be located by their family can choose to alert their friends only if they need assistance. There is a reason Silent Beacon is chosen by some of the most well-known domestic violence shelters in the country, and we pledge that same level of care to you. As you can see, the Silent Beacon has a great number of uses for you and your family. To download our free application, simply go to your app store from your smartphone or tablet, including Apple's App Store, Android's Google Play, and Amazon's App Store. You can see our latest features and ratings inside this area. Press download at the top of the screen. Once the app is downloaded to your smartphone or tablet, open the application. You can find the blue and white silent beacon icon on your home screen. Click it to open the application. Once opened, you need to register the application to your tablet or smartphone. Step 1. We need to register the phone number that you want to associate with this account. Normally, it should be your smartphone's phone number. However, if you are using a tablet, you can simply add another phone number for the registration process that you have access to. You must read and agree to our terms and conditions before using the application. Enter the six digit code that you should have received through your phone's text messaging. Enter this code into the line on the screen. If the code vanishes before you have time to enter it, check inside your text messages to find it. Go into your text messages to cut and paste it. Other options on the screen will allow you to resend the code if you did not receive it. It will allow you to change the phone number to a new phone number or verify with a phone call, where code will be verbally sent to you from a recording. Enter your full name. This will pop up when you send a silent beacon alert to your loved ones. We want to be able to send you information on how to recover your account if you've forgotten any of your login information. Important. When your smartphone or tablet asks you about location services, the silent beacon will not function properly unless you select while using this app. Now that you've registered the application, the app is going to ask you how you would like to import your first emergency contact. There are two options to complete this step. Option one is to import a contact from your phone's contacts. Option two is to manually enter the phone number and information yourself. We are going to set up our emergency contact as 911 and label this contact Help. If you prefer to import from your contacts, you can choose any saved person in your contacts list. Once you have added their information, be sure to send them an invite so they can understand and learn more about getting alerts from you through the silent beacon. Once you have added a contact, you will see a screen with numerous toggle options. These are the individual settings for each contact. That's right, you fully control how you wish each person to receive alerts. The call number toggle is the phone number the Silent Beacon device will call when you enter an alert mode. This can only be toggled on for one person. It will override the last person if you select it for a different contact. The text message toggle enables you to send a customized text message accompanied with your GPS location to that contact. Push notifications can be turned on, but only work if your contact has also turned on the push notifications for the Silent Beacon application. Low Battery Alert is a great new feature that when this toggle is enabled, it will send out a text message to that contact letting them know your Silent Beacon battery is getting low. The Email Notification toggle works similarly to the text message alerts. 
When pressed, the silent beacon will send an email to that contact with a customized message and a link to your GPS location on a map in real time to allow them the ability to find you quickly. Now, if you have the free version of the app and not the Silent Beacon product, you will have to purchase our monthly subscription to unlock these next features. Nudge is our non-emergency feature that allows you to check in with your loved ones without having to call or text them directly. It will just send your contact a link to your current location and lets them know everything is okay. The footstep feature allows your contact to track your location when you are not in an emergency. Alert Your Beacon is our patented technology that allows you to ring other silent beacon devices if you are in an emergency. If the contact you have added in your phone also has a silent beacon, it will alert their beacon even if the volume on their phone is off when you've pressed the alert buttons. Now let's save your current settings and head over to the main menu. If this is your first time opening the app, it's going to ask you for a four digit passcode. This passcode is enabled when you go into emergency mode so that we can make sure you are the only one who's going to turn off the Silent Beacon Alert. Here we are now in the main menu of the Silent Beacon application. Take a minute to look it over before moving on to the next step, which is pairing your Silent Beacon to your application and to your phone. If you look at the Silent Beacon device, you will notice two buttons on either side. On the back top area is where the microphone is located. The large middle section is where the speaker is and around the speaker are LED lights that notify you of changes or alerts. On the bottom of the device you will find the micro USB port. A cable that came with your silent beacon can be plugged directly into this. Let's take a look at an actual silent beacon being set up to help you fully understand the steps in connecting the device to your phone or tablet. The first step is fully charging the silent beacon. Make sure the device has a charge for at least 20 minutes if you want to try connecting for the first time. Once your silent beacon is charged, hit the plus sign in the middle of the silent beacon application. It is now going to scan for the silent beacon that you have now charged. Now that we have connected the silent beacon successfully to the application, there's just one more step left in completing the setup. The on-screen hints will also provide help on these steps you need to take. Press both buttons at once on the beacon. Next, go into your phone's Bluetooth settings screens. These settings will vary from Android, iPhone, tablet to iPad. Choose SB Alert by pressing it. This will be followed by the last four digits of your phone number. It will ask you for a PIN number, which is just 0000. Once the PIN number is entered, you may get a prompt asking if you want to sync your contacts. Select Yes. The Bluetooth settings will not show SB Alert as connected once you complete this step. Now we can go back to the application. We see that it says connected two out of two that's it, your silent beacon is now registered and connected to your smartphone or tablet. Now let's place an emergency alert to show you how this process works. To start in alert mode, press both buttons on the silent beacon at the same time for about two seconds. The device will vibrate and start glowing red, letting you know it has been activated. It will then call the phone number you have stored as your primary emergency contact. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? Remember, you set the silent beacon to call who you wish, whether that's 911, a neighbor, a coworker, silent beacon's 24 hour monitoring center, which is an optional add on, or anyone you wish to alert. Our emergency contact, who also has the silent beacon, will be alerted not only through their phone, but through their device as well. Inside the main menu of the app, they will see a live map in red. Simply click the red map icon, and it will lead you to the map screen showing you the information from the person who is in alert. A powerful feature of the silent beacon is that it can alert multiple people in multiple ways. Not only can it place phone calls and send the user's GPS location in real time, but it can also send alerts via email in case you are at work and not checking your phone. The email alert sends the same link as the text message, allowing you to access the person's GPS location in real time. In fact, you can call 911 or emergency personnel or loved ones, simultaneously send email alerts, alert people via text messages, alert via push notifications, and alert other people's silent beacons all at once. As you can see, the Silent Beacon is a highly effective personal alert system when help is needed immediately. Let's go into the app now and show you how to turn off the alert. 
At the bottom of the screen, you will see a large red button which can turn the alert on or off. Let's press the button to turn off. Once you do this, it will ask for that four digit passcode, the same one you originally set up when you first logged into the application. This passcode is created so no one besides yourself can turn off the alert. We can now see the beacon on the right no longer has the yellow lights blinking. Although the user is out of the emergency situation, we can still see the map in yellow within the menu. This lets you know one of your contacts was in an emergency. Pressing the yellow map will show you the location they were in during the emergency. Finally, your emergency contact will receive a push notification letting you know that the person in need is out of emergency. We hope this has helped you understand how the Silent Beacon and Silent Beacon app work together when sending and receiving emergency alerts. Let's look at some of the features inside the Silent Beacon's main menu to help you utilize the device's additional features. Let's look at the device finder. Much like the inexpensive item trackers that you find at most online or retail stores, the Silent Beacon allows you to track and find your beacon if it is within Bluetooth range of your smartphone or tablet. Pressing the button inside the app will allow you to find your Silent Beacon. The Nudge button allows you to send non-emergency messages to your loved ones. Let's say you want your family to know you have arrived somewhere safely without having to text or call them directly. This will send them a pre-created text message that contains a screenshot of your current GPS location. Footsteps is a feature that allows you to share your GPS location with your contacts. This is useful if you are traveling in an unfamiliar area or around strangers and you want loved ones to be able to follow you. We hope this tutorial has helped you better understand our Silent Beacon device and Silent Beacon application. Be sure to visit us at silentbeacon.com if you have any more questions or comments.